Hey everybody, this is Christy Casey Sanders. I am Happily's Head of Ops and Customer Success, and I am here with Kevin Rabinovich, who is going to talk to us today about the wonderful world of being a clock. Uh, so Kevin, can you tell us what the clock does on a Happily show? So typically a clock will be in the live stage environment. So usually that's a uh, Zoom call that, that will have all of the live speakers who are either about to speak or have just spoken or are speaking um, on a panel or um, any, any other form of a stage. And they'll be in there with the streaming engineer, the producer on the show, um, sometimes the backstage manager as well, helping to keep track of time. So basically letting the producer and the speakers know how much time there is in the current item on the run of show, sometimes called the ROS or the schedule, and how much time they have until they're about to speak. Are there any differences between keeping time or clocking on a broadcast versus a breakout? Normally, uh, within the broadcast environment, there's a lot more intensity and, and pressure because you are live on that stage. So anything that you do has to be done, you know, exactly right. And that's why it takes a lot of rehearsal to to you know get all those little details right. When you're in a in a breakout setting, it doesn't quite matter so much. Um, I mean, of course, you should still work as hard as you can to get everything right, but it's not. It, it maybe won't screw up the show as much if a time is off by two or three minutes. Whereas in a, in a broadcast environment, you know, sometimes we have segments that are like five, 10, 15 seconds. And so something that's that's not calibrated correctly within the clock uh, might, might throw some things off. So no pressure, but um, but there is definitely more more sort of expected in the in the broadcast environment as far as accuracy. If you are doing this clock roll for the very first time, what are some ways that you can show up well and impress the producer on the show? First, um, start by asking a lot of questions after you've read the ROS. Make sure that you, you understand, are there any segments that might change? Is there something that you know maybe isn't confirmed yet where uh, the, the producer um, might be adding in an additional item or an additional segment? And I would, I would maybe set up a one-on-one -on -one, um, with the streaming engineer or the producer, whomever you know, you're, you're working more closely with, and just talk with them and, and, and figure out what are the specific points of the show where they're most worried. Are they worried that you know, a speaker is going to go over by a minute? And if that does happen, does it matter? And if they do go over by a minute, what do you need to do in that case? Thank you so much, Kevin. I really appreciate it. And for all of you who are watching, good luck.